Welcome back everyone to the Viking Weekend channel. I am your host and mighty chieftain Salty Viking. I hope you're all having a great day today and in this video we're going to be continuing with our playthrough of Persona 5 Royal. Now in the last episode we decided to carry on uh, pretty much our normal life while we wait for Madarame to completely have his change of heart. Uh, and in the last video we completely got done with the with a uh, the strength arcana which was the the twins Caroline and Justine now their their arcana worked differently compared to everybody else is where all you had to do was show them personas that had a certain move to them and that would you know uh, go through their uh, social link. So we have now maxed out there, so we don't have to do that anymore. I didn't expect it to go as long as it did, but, you know, it is what it is there. Okay, so um, so we're just going to continue on uh, from here. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. And, uh, as always, join the raid and welcome to the village. Alright, so let us get moving. Yeah, we're going to return to our fleeting time of rest. So, yeah, what? Okay. Uh, let's see here. What, what did everyone else do? Alright. Oh, yeah, so... Let's... What are you, stats? Open status stats training uh, in Shibuya. Yeah, oh, yeah, with the, at the um, the gym. Uh, let's take a look here. Shibuya Station. Oh, well, we got some. Oops. Uh, city. We can go to Takami. We can go to On. We can go to Ryuji or Maruki. I'm going to go to Maruki because... You want to complete his within a certain time limit because once you hit a certain point, you're not going to be able to. So once you hit a certain point in his uh, social link status, you're not going to be able to continue on, continue on until later on in the game. So, and you are on a time crunch to complete his. So let's take a look here. What persona do I have? Do I have a counselor? No, I do not. So let's fix that. Hey, inmate. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get counselor in here. I probably should have done this when I was in here the first time, but oh well. Welcome to. Okay, so let us itemize our persona. And we will do the chases. We'll do this one. We'll get a snow ring. Behold its new form. Yep, go ahead. This may prove somewhat extreme. All right. Fry him up. Here is your snow ring. Use it well. Okay. So now that we did this, let us summon a... Alright, so we want Vohumana. Yes. All right, we're good here. Done already. What? I want to go back. No slacking off. I will slack off whenever I want. You can't tell me what to do. 
Okay, so let's head to school. We'll go talk to Dr. Maruki. Whoops. Uh, school gate, classroom, practice building. I think he's in the practice, yeah, the pra if I recall, the practice building nurse. There he is. Hey, Doc, what's up? Hey there. Oh, are you heading home? If you're okay with it, I'd like to get some input from you. Do you have time right now? There's no pressure, obviously, but I feel like I can become closer with Maruki thanks to the counselor persona of Ahu Mana. I feel like my bond will grow stronger. Yes, let's do this. Sure, let's help him out. Ah, oh, great. I just finished a counseling session. Now meet me in the nurse's office. Well, we're at the nurse's office. Well, I'm going to walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. And, and doing him helps out immensely. Hmm. I've been getting a lot of students coming in ever since I arrived here. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. That whole mess with Kamashita was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. But when I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college, college entrance exams, relationship problems. In other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident, yes. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who came to me have taken some steps towards recovery. Uh... Thanks to you, probably. Will be nice. Well, I can only hope so. I don't think I've done much, but I've helped. E but if I've helped even one person, then that makes it all worth it. I know I'm not the most reliable guy, but remember, you can always talk to me too if something's bothering you. I am the counselor here, you know. If nothing else, I'm good at listening. Having said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask for your help, but you remember how I asked you to help with, help me with my research. Of course. I said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry, it won't be anything too difficult or, or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So well, let's see. Maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little bit, a little about what this research is for. What I'm studying now is pain felt in the mind, or perhaps more fancifully, in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of someone saying hurtful things to you, or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clear. Pain defined by abstracts, like trauma or stress. Bodily, physical pain can be thought of as something necessary. An, autom an, auto an autonomic response to injury, illness, whatever. But what about pains felt within one's heart? That pain isn't born from any, any tangible problem in our bodies, right? It's something strange and immaterial. I guess it goes to show there's still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I, well, I want to learn more about these internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your heart, Kurosu Kun? Ah, uh, when I get punched, when I lie. I think the... Well, getting punched, you know, you can get back up and just like, okay, is that all you got? I, I think the bigger one here is when someone betrays you. Because, I mean, that... Like, you know, someone who thought you were... That, who you thought was a friend... Turns out to not be a friend. And the harsh realization of it... You know, that could probably hurt more than... If you lie. I, I think... I, I could be wrong on that... I see. Yes, I can sympathize there. Sometimes all it takes is one betrayal for intense trust to turn into intense pain. 
Yeah, it doesn't take much to to break trust or respect. It can be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart then? After all, that kind of pain is only born because we fall in love, right? Uh, I don't... Hang on. Oh, L3, not R3. But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart then? I mean, to be honest though, I don't think it's only born from because people can have a broken heart when if when they fail like when they they fail at something. I mean, yeah, I mean, yes, most notably falling in love would tend to usually go with a broken heart, but failure can go with that. Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, Kurosokun? Um. I don't agree with the middle one, where it says we'd be better off without it. The one I'd probably agree with the most is that one seems necessary. True. It proves and validates the love that came before it, after all. A very fitting answer from you. Internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with, though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair assessment. Excuse me. Though personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. I don't know about that because sometimes, you know, you have to get knocked down in order to find out how strong you are to, to get back up. So I don't I don't agree with that, you know, because because, you know, if you to be honest, if you haven't lived a, lived any kind of heart, uh, any kind of hardship, then you really haven't lived at all. Because there's that old saying, you know, um, defeat can be its own own great teacher. So, you know, like I said, defeat or heartbreak or any kind of hardship can teach you to be a better person, can make you stronger both mentally and emotionally and physically. So, I, I don't agree with that. You know, I mean, if we were to able to get stronger from avoiding pain, then yeah, I would agree with that. But unfortunately, I don't think that that's the case. As I said, it's I think I think it's more of a it is it's a necessary life thing to happen for you to have some kind of hardship happen so you can find out who you truly are and how strong you really are. That which doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Hmm. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a way they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research, to save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. Okay, so, and, and that's not a problem, because, you know, a lot of people carry burdens throughout their life and they ne it never really goes away. And then there are people who are able to get to a point where they can finally let go and move on. So, so I mean, so yes, I, so that I can agree with. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. Did that help? Of course. Thanks to you, I can articulate my thoughts for once. I can sense Maruki's gratitude towards me. Counselor 3. Flow. Chance to receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of battle. All right. 
Your counselor uh, confidant is in Greece in rank 3. You can now earn more experience from Arcana Burst. Maruki taught you how to achieve flow. Okay, I think that'll do for today. Hmm, why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Yep, your end of the deal, buddy. Oh, your mental training. Oh, uh, no, I didn't forget about our promise, of course. <laughs> yeah, sure you didn't. I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline. And you help me with my research. Just like we decided, right? Now then, how about something like this today? Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind go feels stronger. Your max SP increased by 5. Oh, and here, never a bad time for a snack, right? Jogger Riku. Well. Okay, now we're ready to wrap things up. And we're going home. Oh, this is Maruki. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. Just finished my last counseling session for the day. And I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Getting to your research now? Yep, that's correct. After all your help, I'm about to get even busier, too. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking to you for help more frequently from now on. It'd mean a lot if you could lend a hand. Alright, see you later. And evening. Ah, you're back. Yep, I'm back. Don't forget to ask the airsoft guy about the paper bag. Yo. Another box came for you. Oh, cool! What'd you get? Blowtorch. Dry ice. Magneto coil. Do you, do you really think you should trust me with a blowtorch? <laughs> Must be what you ordered off the TV. Okay, so... Hang on. So we can go, hang on. It's the time of the year when young people wearing suits come out in droves. The job hunt has begun. With the recent economic slump, many companies are limiting their number of new hires. Popular companies are overwhelmed with applications, accepting applicants at very low rates. In their suits, everyone all looks the same. It must be tough to look for a job. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here, oops. Okay, so let's take a look at our confidant list so far. All right, so prison, so Igor will up to four, Morgana up to three. Those will uh, in, will progress through, uh, as the story goes on. Sojuro two, uh, Takamaki two, Sakamoto five, Warden's Max. We're done with them. Takami three. Mishima 2, and Maruki 3. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see here. EY and Street Orator. Oh, okay. We can, I think we can start EY. Alright, let's go... Let's head to the airsoft shop. Yeah, yeah, we won't go anywhere dangerous. Well, that's a lie. We go to the metaverse every day, so it's not like... Alright, second-hand shop. Okay, you don't got anything I need. Alright, uh, let's head to the airsoft shop. We will need to do... Um, get uh, the orator going. Oh, before I do, let's go. Hey, yeah, 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 you bossy little masochist. Alright, create. The inmate needs our will be reborn anew. Uh, well, we... 
Alright, I really don't need bugs, so... Yeah, I don't need bugs, but I do need to get hanged, man. Whoops. I'll save... Uh, Persona, we will delete you. Whoops. Alright, let's summon... Alright, Fool, Magician, Priestess, Empress, Emperor, Hierophant, Lovers, Chariot, Justice, Hermit, Fortune, Strength, Hanged. Here we go. Addis. Is this what you want? A fee is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you finished? What? Yeah, I want to go back. It is time in I'm done getting beat up by Caroline. Oops. Alright. Now let's go to the airsoft shop. <clears throat> okay. Hey, you came at just the right time. Slight change of plans. That paper bag from the other day? All yours. You picked it up somewhere. Nothing to do with me. Understand? I didn't see it. I didn't touch it. I don't know about it. We clear? Yep, we got the right police at... He's E. If that's it, then go home. You can win go window shop somewhere else. That modified model gun should be a powerful weapon to use during palace battles. Let's ask him about what was inside the bag. Don't freak out, Akira. Just ask him. I should be able to ask him at my current guts level. Okay. Yeah, because usually you won't be able to do anything until you get to, like, I believe the third guts level. So what are you here for? I want to talk about the bag. I should be able to ask him at my current guts level. Is that it? Is that right? That was a custom gun that I modified to make it look as real as possible. I had a customer who was interested in it. You helped me out by smuggling out of here so that I didn't get caught by those detectives. You're an accomplice now, so don't go snitching. I got everything on my security camera. I want to see more. Huh? Want to talk in the back? Who the... Are you? you wouldn't want to know. A gun enthusiast. At your age. Whoops. Well, I guess you've got the heart of an enthusiast. Yeah, I forgot. This is the part where they actually turn the, the voice acting on. My bad! <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get that quite a lot. Wait a sec. <laughs> yeah, this could work. What would work? I don't like that look on your face and that smirk. Hey, I can grant that wish of yours. But you better have the money. These things are worth hundreds of thousands of yen per unit. Sometimes they even reach the millions, depending on how I feel. Oh, boy. This sounds suspicious. Is that right? Right. Look, I ain't a bad dude. I've been known to compromise from time to time. For example, you help me out with my business. Smuggling goods, destroying evidence. And as a reward, I'll introduce you to the special menu with good prices for a punk like you. 
Okay. What do you say? Not bad, huh? What's your goal here? That's on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. Oh, really? Gotta fight evil with evil. I need a pawn of my own. Oh! So that's it! Oh, I'm nice to know that I could be of help to you! Don't talk to no one about this. Got it? Just follow my orders. Okay, I guess. We won't be able to get much stronger if I don't accept his offer. Now what's it gonna be? You gonna take my deal or not? I'll do what I can. That's fine. Okay, I'll work on that special menu for you. You should be grateful. I've made a deal with Iwai. I should be able to ask him to customize guns for me now, in exchange for helping him out. And here we go again. Flashback time! And then again, this whole... We're experiencing the flashback. It seems you had model guns in your possession as well. Their detail goes beyond a simple hobby. Oh, wouldn't you like to know the purpose of those? I'm sure some people believed those guns were real. You'll tell me how you procured them, won't you? Ha 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 ha! You wish! Spill it! Here we go again! It shall become the wings of rebellion that break it by chains of captivity. With the birth of the hanged man persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Confidant, weapons dealer, Arcana, hanged, rank one. New ability, Starter Customization, allows you to customize your gun and install upgrades. Right. You've unlocked the Hangman Confidant. Using Personas of the Hangman Arcana will now grant you experience due to Arcana Burst. EY has given you permission to use Starter Customization. Oh yeah, when I don't got any business going on, I'll have you do some miscellaneous chores. Clean, run errands. There's plenty for you to do around here. Ah, uh, so you so in other words, you want me to keep the front up. Got it. Must be pretty exciting for an enthusiast like you, huh? Why do I feel like I just joined the mafia? Hey. That's my contact info. When I text you from that ID, it'll be cuz I need help around the shop. Just so you know, if you get caught or anything, I never met you. Nothing to do with me. We clear? Plausible deniability. I get it. If you want something, you're going to have to work for it. So what's my first job? <laughs> Yeesh, take it easy there, cowboy. You're that eager to get into it, huh? I'll send a message when everything's ready. Hope I can count on you, kid. Okay, that's it for today. Head on home, part-timer. Alright. Oh, it's raining out. Hey. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Yeah, let's read something. Uh, let's finish the gallant, the gallant rogue, shall we? Striking a pose of defiance with tobacco pipe in hand, he truly looked like a great thief. Wow. Ishikawa Goyamon was a thief without peer, so he was a hero of the common people, huh? And we're done! So you finished reading The Gallant Rogue? That splendid spirit that pays no mind to the bad guys, he's a true example of a gentleman thief. After the reading this, I'm sure you have a better understanding of a chivalrous thief's courage. Hmm. 
And we would mo move up in our guts level. So, yeah, so... You know, the dots represent the different levels that you would go up to. So you would have to get to that middle dot on guts in order to do e to order to even start EY's uh, uh, confidant link. But since we're already maxed out, we don't have to worry about that. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. First, I have an announcement about an upcoming school event. As part of a city beautification project, the entire school will be participating in a public cleanup campaign. That means we're going to in Inokashira Park to pick up trash. Okay, quiet down. Yeah, that didn't go over well, did it? The cleanup will take place next week on the 30th. All students are to wear their gym uniforms during the event, so don't forget to dress the part. You guys hear about this cleanup bullshit at Inakashira Park? I guess it's the principal's idea. Damage control after Kamashita scandaled up the school's rep. Pretty sure scandal's not a verb. No, it's not, but we get the point. But I get what you mean. Even the counseling stuff seems like a desperate move. Oh yeah, it is. They're scrambling. All the girls in our class have been freaking out over this new guy, too. I've been hearing Maruki's hot, kind, sensitive. Basically everyone thinks he's their type. Well, I guess he's pretty popular then. Oh yeah, did you guys go to his counseling yet? Oh shit, I forgot. But I don't know, I don't feel like, really feel like going. You know what I mean, right? I already went. Whoa, really? You should just go already. If your slacking draws attention to us, we're the ones who'll have to pay for it. Fine. She's not wrong. Something. Okay, what's that? Okay, why are you looking around? I uh, found this flyer stuffed in my mailbox. Okay. Housekeeping service. Um. What? You need someone to clean your room? Why don't you do it? You think you can do it? Get it? Then you don't have to pay for it. It says that a cute maid will do anything for you. Uh no. Here we go. Define anything. Right, right. I don't like where you're at, where you're going with this. What are you saying? You're a guy, right? You know what I mean. Oh, that's what you mean. Let's give it a try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so wait, you want to bring a maid to a, to a vacant apartment? And just exactly do you, do you expect her to do? Paint the walls? The key is behind the mailbox, so we can get in any time. The landlord seriously doesn't care. Oh, God, dude. The place is all set, so... Oh, no. I got a bad... Oh, you too? Um, can I, uh, get in on this? Oh, you, no, you too? Oh, you mean you're into this kind of stuff? Oh, God, Ryuji. I hate you. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm not into it. Yeah, you're full of it, Mishima. You're just as bad as he is. What does it mean that they'll do anything? And do the maids look exactly as 
they're advertised. We need to determine whether or not this company just pretends to offer housekeeping services. I'm pretty sure that they do offer housekeeping services, but I don't think that's the full extent of their menu. Just tell the truth. I... Yeah. Just want to punish the bad guys. And in order to do that, I have to see it with my own eyes. Yeah, sure. You keep running with that. Yeah, we, we gotta see it with our own eyes. Oh, God, Ryuji. <laughs> Every little detail. Oh, boy. We'll have to do this at night, so let us know when you're ready. Oh God! Why am I getting? What's the code name for this operation? Do we really need a code name? Hmm. Uh, since we'll be watching them, it should be something like Operation Maid Watch. Oh God! Nice. I like that. Oh boy. What are we getting into here? Open. So. You come to repent your sins about how you're going into uh, hire a maid to try to get her to do anything? Hey there. It's a Commodore Coon here for a counseling session. Well, it's not like that. It's not like I wanted to or in, or nothing. <laughs> Sorry, you were forced into this. But anyway, come on, come in, come in. <clears throat> so, this is pretty awkward. Oh, why is that? I mean, I don't really go see teachers unless they want to chew me out for doing something wrong. Oh, I'm not a teacher here. If anything, well, I'm here to be on the student side. Oh, yeah? So, am I supposed to tell you about Kamashita now? Well, oh, no, no. This isn't some kind of interrogation. You're free to just kick back and talk about whatever you want. Like what? How hmm. About How about, is there anyone in your class that you like? That's uh, not exactly easy to talk about either. And it's not like there is anybody. Uh... uh Oh, sorry. I just meant you're in the middle of your teenage years and all, right? High schoolers are just discovering romance and all. So, is that how it went for you? Not exactly. But, um, that's just because I fell in love with my studies first. <laughs> Ooh, I'm awkward. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be hearing you out and said I'm just bringing down the room. Oh, how about this instead? What do you do in your free time, Sakamoto Kun? On the weekend, after school? Uh. Hang out with my buds, mostly, though I just started doing that recently. Yeah, now you want to go watch a maid. Before that, I was just pissed all the time, and even before that, I was only all about the track team. Ah. So, is your leg better now? Oh, so you know about that, too. Well, yeah, pretty much. So long as I don't strain it or nothing. I see. Quite. You really do enjoy running, don't you? Guess so. I mean, after all that training I did, it makes sense I'd like it. I'd be training constantly, getting sweet times at meets along with everyone else. Eventually, I was going to get my hands on some running scholarships to make it easier on my mom. But all of that's in the past now. It's cool, though. I got way more important shit to do now. More important, huh? Well, no matter what path you might have to, get to, to take to get there, I hope your track dreams will still do you some good in the end. And yeah. Thanks. And you know what they say, right? If you wish, wish hard enough, your dreams can come true. Huh? You trying to sell me on some kind of line now? Welcome to Disney World. 
Oh no, this is actually a genuine phenomenon, with a lot of research going into it even now. Look at it this way, Sakamino kun. What do you want most out of life right now? Uh, I want something to drink, I guess. Oh. Uh, what? I lucked into a coupon for a free can of apple juice at the convenience store this morning, and now I'd like you to, for you to have it. Thanks. See, your wish came true. E yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Dr. Mar... I mean, Doc... Anyone ever tell you you're kind of not normal? You think so? Ooh, could that be a compliment coming from you? Uh... No? Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Plans for today. What are your plans for today? I'm wandering around Shibuya. I'm feeling kind of restless. I'll still be in the station for a bit, so let me know if anything comes up. I uh, will hold off that flyer. Hey, about that flyer. We're doing it at night, right? I'm usually in Shibuya at those hours. Let me know when you're going to going going to it. You better not leave me behind, okay? I'll never forgive you if you do. You two can knock yourselves out. I don't want to be a part of this. I'll contact you again later tonight. Okay, so let's take a look here. On can go up. Takami can go up. Let's go hang out on. Uh, underground Mall. Do I have a lover's uh, persona? Yeah, there's on. Whoops. Wrong one. Yes, I do. I got Raphael. All right, let's go hit up on here. We'll just have to wait for now. I guess now we wait. The suspense is seriously killing me. Um, oh, yeah. I started training, so you should totally help me out if you have the time. Excuse me. I feel I can become closer with Ahn thanks to the lover's persona, Raphael. I feel like my bond with Ahn will grow stronger soon. So what do you think? Will you spend some time with Lady Ahn? Sure, I'll hang out with her. Yes. All right, let's go. Hmm, the best way to train it, the best way to get to uh, Inakashira Park is by train, right? All right, we're heading there. Inakashira Park. And with that, we've opened a new place. A flourishing, a flourishing with natural beauty, this park is the pride of Kichijoji. A natural respite, get away from the stress of city life. Couples often ride boats in the pond. Oh, on! You can, you can always invite people who may like hanging out with you in Inakashira Park. All right, let's roll! Man, big open places like this are great. I think my training is going to be going to go super good today. So remember how I said before that I want to strengthen my heart? Well, I came up with a way to do it. Okay, how? How's that? I think having a strong heart means you don't let anything get under your skin. Okay. So basically, I want you to say stuff to me and I'll try not to get phased by it. What? That's your training? We've already started. I won't let that hesitation shake me. Oh, boy. I guess I should say something on. Come on, hit me with your best shot. You're an airhead. Yeah, 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 and? That response was annoying. Uh-huh, uh -huh. what else? <laughs> Let's do it! I love you! Wait, wait what? <laughs> oh, that got her attention! That's cheating! You're disqualified, Akira. Wait, is this how the game is supposed to go? 
Oh well, on to round two. Bring it on. This won't help your heart. You know, I kind of feel like this won't make our persona stronger. You finally get it. Mm. Uh, something's not right. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I just got an email from my agency. The next shoot is really far. Wait, what's this at the end? It's a notice saying to pay extra attention to the time and place they tell you. Apparently some models haven't been showing up at all lately. Then when asked why they didn't come, the models all say they heard there was a change in schedule. It sounds like shoots have been real hectic with all the scrambling they've had to do for substitutes. Has that happened to you? No, I haven't missed a single shoot so far. It probably, it, it, it probably really confuses the staff to see a sub showing up too. Hopefully it doesn't happen to me. Though actually, my first modeling gig was as a sub. That was back when I was still in Finland. My parents didn't have enough models for their event. Oh, haven't I told you? My parents are both fashion designers put, who put on some seriously extravagant shows. They jump from country to country, so I really only see, I only really see them for half of the year. Maybe less these days. That freedom sounds nice. Yeah, I guess I can afford to be pretty relaxed these days. Plus, it would probably be tough being a Phantom Thief with my parents around, don't you think? It was rough when I was little, though. It was just me and our live-in caretaker. I didn't really have any friends. Now that got, now that got dark fast. <laughs> Honestly, when I'm modeling, it almost feels like I'm connecting with my parents somehow. It's a nice hobby to have, but I don't think I want to make a living out of it. After all, that's where Kamashita first spotted me, and that's how our class started all those rumors. Besides, the Phantom Thieves are more important to me right now. Nobody can be my substitute there. That's why I need to get stronger. I sense a heightened motivation from on. On to Kamaki, Lover's Rank 3, follow-up. Chance to perform a follow-up attack if Joker's attack does not down the enemy. Your Lover's Confidant has increased to Rank 3. Alright. Oh, yeah. When I was little, I used to watch this anime where the main villain was this female thief. She'd lose to the hero every time, but I always thought she was cool. She wasn't really a good person, per se. But she was beautiful, strong, sincere, and even sexy. She always said whatever she wanted, did whatever she wanted. She knew what justice was for her. I wanted to grow up to be just like her someday. I hope I'm getting closer now, if only just a little bit. Bye. Well, see you later! Hey, it's me. Thanks for coming with me today. So after we met up, I tried doing some runway walks on the way home, like how a cool sexy woman would walk. Then some girl who was watching me nearby started to copy me and runway walked with me. She had to have seen me, right? Do you think she thought I was cool? Could be. I'll be nice. <laughs> it's almost enough to make me blush, kind of. To be honest, I feel kind of bad for her. She has no idea that the real me is a human disaster. Oh, come on. You're, no, you're not. Mm, I guess I still have a long way to go, but I'm not giving up. I made a decision that I'm going to get stronger, so I need to overcome any obstacles. Thanks for hearing me out, okay? Bye. All right. Hey, you didn't forget, did you? You know about that flyer? We need to look into the truth behind that housekeeping service. I'm over at Central Street right now, so come talk to me if you're interested. Looks 
Count Mishima's waiting for us in Shibuya. Do you think we should go see him? I'll decide later. Alright, so... Let's take a look at TV. Oh, no. That could have easily been avoided. He know, knows it. And I'm sure he regrets it. It's a Nifu. That must be such a difficult loss to accept. I wish we could let him have some time to himself. Well then, let's move on to the post-mortem. Here we analyze what happened in the game. Okay, so I'm going to call it an episode here. In the next episode, we're going to meet up with Mishima. And, uh... We're going to go through with Operation Maid Watch. So, um, with that being said, uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell to be kept up to date when future videos drop. Doing, thing, doing these things will help get this channel more recognized in the algorithm, and it will also open up more opportunities for me to engage with all of you. Since you are the reason that I do this, so I thank you guys for any, for any and all support. So with that being said, this is your mighty chieftain Salty Viking reminding you to live brave and free, fight tooth and nail, and you all have a glorious Viking weekend, and I will catch you in the next episode. Later.